update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 192, NASDAQ up 70, S&P's up 26. That's quite a recovery, too, by the way, okay? You take a look at the, uh, what's intriguing, you take a look at the S&P. So if we bring the S&P up first, uh, you're going to see uh, some volatility uh, in spades out here. Uh, bottom line is that the high uh, was 410, and then it basically went down 60 points, and bottom line is that it almost made it back to the high. You're two points off of the high. NQ's a little bit different. Uh, and this is how you can just tell that the NQ's are basically weaker than this, the SPY. Still a huge, you know, comeback, that's for sure. The NQ, though, the high was 379, 12,379, uh, and we're at 12,336. But impressive comeback. There's, there's no doubt about that. So we'll see where that baby uh, shakes out tomorrow. You had the... Uh, Notes and bonds, uh, bottom line, uh, notes and bonds, they continue to want lower price, higher yield. You have the 10-year down nine ticks trading 115.28, the 30-year down 23 at 133.15. The 10-year right now is yielding 3.307, and king dollar, king dollar down 188 ticks, trading 109.652, euro is at 99, look at that. Point nine 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 nine. You gotta love it. Oh, there goes point nine 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 eight. Yen. Yen one forty four. The British pound one fifteen to one U.S. dollar. We get open. We take a look at this market, folks. Go to the spy first. We. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna go to the NYSE because because the volume was contracted. I just want to see if it stayed contracted. Eight forty. Somewhat. Not a lot. Not a lot. 840 is not bad. We did 896 yesterday, so they were buying into the close. We go to the composite. The composite looks to me, well, we'll find out it's more. Four, well, that was less, too. 4.2. Now, the composite should have had more because, so what they did come at the close, they bought the S&P, but they didn't buy the composite as much. You can see that. 4.2 versus 4.4. And King Dollar. King Dollar is where it's all about for markets, for metals, for commodities, all of the above, folks. And we have with King Dollar out here is that uh, bottom line is that we had hit a high yesterday, that high being 110.784. Uh, the number to keep your eye on is the 109.294. Now, we're 400 ticks off of that, but that's the number to keep your eye on. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.